Before we start this video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away 22,000 144 God Roll Traps for anyone who enters the giveaway in my Discord server. So the link will be in the top of the description and good luck. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to place upside down walls. Now, you might be thinking that's a really strange thing to teach someone, but trust me, when it comes to missions, it makes them so much easier. And even in some missions, it means you don't have to do anything at all. Well, that's all for the intro and let's begin. Okay guys, so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be doing this in my Storm Shield. Now, it still works on missions, so do not worry, I'm just going to do it in my Storm Shield. So I'm going to head to my Stonewood. It doesn't matter, it obviously works anywhere, and I'm going to launch in. Alright guys, so now that we're loaded into our Storm Shield, we're going to find a flat area just here. And we're going to start the process. So, what we're going to do is place a metal stair, because the metals actually have uh, a lot thicker dimensions as you can see here the steps are a lot bigger than most other materials then what we're going to do is come all the way up to the top step right about here and we're going to want to enable first person mode so if you don't know how to enable first person mode that's fine i'm going to show you right now so we want to click this settings card click the game settings scroll down until you find extra game options and you want to click first person camera you want to turn that on apply it and here you go as you can see we're in first person mode it looks a bit trippy but yeah, we're in. Yep, so we're going to come to the top stair and we want to be about halfway between the first point here and the second point here. So around here. And we want to make sure that we're facing all the way down. Otherwise, this will not work. So from here, we have to do a bit of maneuvering. So we're going to have to go from our pickaxe to our trap. So as you can see here in the far right, we can see where I can equip my traps and I use the keybind Y. So we want to keep going between Y and my pickaxe. So as soon as you start doing this maneuver, you can see there is a wall trying to be placed there, but obviously I'm not placing it. It does take a few tries the first time if you don't know how to do it, but there we go. I've just done it. So it can bug your game to constantly swing your pickaxe. The way to do this is just get a weapon, click it, and that's it. So as you can see here, we have a glitched wall. We have actually two in here. I've placed two. So to prove this is upside down, uh, we can just put a, a door there. Yeah, see, look, there's a door there now. And uh, this one, obviously, as well, uh, two doors. So yeah, that's it. And the cool thing about these as well is that mobs don't actually attack these. So if you are in a retrieve the data mission or a atlas mission, you can actually use these to surround the atlases and they will not target it. I'm going to quickly go into a mission, guys, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Okay, guys, as you can see now, I'm loading into a mission. So I've just gone for a simple fight the storm mission in Stonewood, just so I don't get murdered every two seconds and it's easy to show you guys that this does work. All right, guys, so now that this atlas is covered in upside down walls, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So what we're going to do right here is enable the mission so we're going to click here start objective start objective so we're going to have a bunch of zombies heading towards me now so what we're going to do is just wait here and i'm just going to show you exactly what happens all right guys so now that i've started the objective as you can see here the zombies are heading the way to the atlas how they normally would do so all of these walls are currently upside down and this is the beauty of it so zombies can't actually attack the walls which is so helpful for you to just get your plasmatic discharger and absolutely shred them all. The only thing you gotta worry about is smashers and flingers as well as the lobbers, but it's actually really easy to deflect these if you have the right setup. You can simply block the lobbers by using this trap right here called the anti-air trap and plonking it on top and this will deflect all of those nasty skull things coming at you and breaking a build. As for smashers, I highly recommend you get one of these plasmatic discharges as they are very good for killing them. Please note though, this only works on one by one areas. So if you put this on an evacuate the shelter area, which is three by three, you'll be screwed. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Make sure to join my Discord server as we have a 22,000 trap giveaway ending in about three days. So make sure you come and grab that giveaway and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.